Fabrica! Welcome to this new episode of Let's Talk Taino. I'm Priscilla Colon, co-founder and creative here at Casa Reito, where our mission is to promote the Taino language and culture. So on today's episode, we are concluding with part three of Telling Time in Taino. We're going to be learning some new vocabulary words, and then we're going to do an activity that puts everything you've learned in these past three episodes together. So I'm ready to get started. Are you? Let's start with new vocabulary. Sunrise. Gue ayalera. Noon. Gue yaleta. You've seen the word yaleta before when we talked about ima yaleta, which is lunch. Sunset. Gue ashakata. Now, I want to make sure that you really know these three new words, so let's try to match them with a picture. So this picture shows sunrise. Do you remember what sunrise is in Taino? Correct. Gue ayatlera. The clock in this picture shows that it's noon. Do you remember what that is in Taino? That's right. Gue yaleta. And how about sunset? Correct. Gue ashakata. Now, in the past, we've learned question words such as katei, which means what. Today, we have an important question word that we need to use when talking about time, and that is bena, when. So, for the next activity, we're going to ask that question bena, when, to talk about different times of day. You're going to put together everything you've learned so far, including how to talk about a.m., p.m., and half past. So are you ready? I know you're up for the challenge. Let's start with the first question. Bena goi ayalera. When is sunrise? To answer the question, you just need to follow the simple formula. You start with the noun, then you add the verb toka, which means to be, then you add the time. So in this case, I would say gue ayalera toka, and then add the time. Simple, right? So let's try it out. I see that sunrise is at 5.30 a.m. Let's take a look at the sentence. Gue ayalera toka, but I see that the time is missing. Do you remember how to say 5.30 a.m.? That's correct. Cobre aceru hekechi. So let's read the whole answer together. Gue ayalera toka. Cobre aceru hekechi. Sunrise is at 5.30 a.m. Not too bad, right? Let's do the next one. The question is, Bena guateke. When is the party? Oh, guateke. That's a new word that you're learning today. That'll come in handy. So let's take a look at the picture. I see the date and there it is. I see the time. It says 12 p.m. We can say 12 p.m., but why don't we just use the word noon that we learned today? Let's take a look at the answer. Guateque toca. Do you remember what noon is? That's right. Gueyaleta. So let's read the whole sentence together. Guateque toca, gue yaleta. The party is at noon. Let's see the next question. Bena gue a shakata. When is sunset? Let's see, the picture tells me 8.30 p.m. Do you remember how to say that in Taino? Of course. Me quisa aceru achaca. Now let's read the whole sentence together. Gue ashakata toka me quisa aceru achaka. Sunset is at 8.30 p.m. Oof, that was an exercise and a half. I had to use all I learned in the past three episodes to be able to ask and answer those questions. But I'm glad we did it. I knew that we could do it. If you had any problems coming up with any of these answers, you can always go back and watch the previous two episodes 
and I've put the links in the description. In the meantime, why don't we review everything we learned today? Vena, when? Gue ayalera, sunrise. Gue yaleta, noon. Gue ashakata, sunset. Guateque, party. Aceru, 30 or half past. Pobre aceru, 5.30 or half past 5. Cobre aceru hekechi, 5.30 a.m. or in the morning. Mequisa aceru, 8.30 or half past 8. Mequisa aceru achaca, 8.30 p.m. or in the evening. Thank you again for joining me on this short but super packed fun episode of Let's Talk Taino. I'm so happy that you're here with me learning Taino because I know together we can do it. We're well into springtime, so check out Casaritos Conuco, where we're growing plants, using the same processes that our ancestors used, and learning a little Taino along the way. If you get the chance, check out our kids' books. They're a great way to teach kids Taino and help them connect with Mother Nature. Want to stay in the know? Check out our mailing list where you get sneak peeks of upcoming episodes, language learning tips, and get to know what I'm working on in the background. In the meantime, taikara ya guaitiao nagu. <laughs>